Well, I guess right here, I guess right here is one of the ways you know is when you finally getting to almost where you want to be at. And plus I got these, you know, these now work shoes. I guess these are my dress work shoes. <laughs> um, man, I ain't never owned so many shoes all at the same time in my entire life. Much less, well, a couple times. But then, uh, they're usually black when I work for Feld Entertainment. Man, but um, I tell you, it's been a hot minute since I had all those many shoes at the same time, and I, I'm kind of liking it. Got this nice new little carpet. I'm trying to whip this place up into shape. Got a lot of work to go in here, man. I tell you, it's, it's a... Uh, uh, well, I should have just had the people who had this place before me clean it all out. I thought they might mistakenly leave some valuables. And they did, just not the ones I wanted, which was the toolbox, you know. So now I'm, I'm paying for it, and uh, in the form of having to clean up after them, a huge mess. And then uh, when I had the, the movers move my shit in, they summarily tossed my shit in, and um, yeah, it's it's a big fucking mess. I tell you now, right there's part of it right there, you know. But man, I I got I got weeks and weeks and weeks of working here, and uh. I hired somebody today, and I sorry, some bitch. I told him, "Hey, show up at ten o'clock in the morning to start." And then um, he kept giving these half-ass fucking excuses, and um, three times he fucking didn't get here. Then uh, he gets here about four o'clock, and um. Take about 20, 30 minutes to explain them exactly what I wanted. And, um, this dude gets the trash bag out of his car. He starts picking trash up in the yard. And about 10, 15 minutes later, he's like, dude, I got to come back in the morning. I'm like, why? I want to start in the morning. And it's going to rain soon. And like, well, dude, we'll work until it rains. You know, I, I need, that's more time you could be here working. And he claims he needs money. So I told him I would pay pay between twelve to fourteen dollars an hour for this basically light duty work. And um I probably got thirty, forty hours of work for him. You know. Man, it's true people don't work. Cause twelve to fourteen dollars cash is is like sixteen to seventeen dollars an hour on the clock. Cause you're gonna lose that money to taxes and whatnot. And uh, he said, can I come back in the morning? I'm like, dude, I'll find somebody else. Because, you know, it's evidently you don't want to work. You don't, you don't fucked up my whole fucking day here today. You know, the reason I asked you to be here at 10 o'clock. Because I wanted you to be here the whole fucking day. And he's like, well, I, I, I'll do the grass part today. Like, dude, you're, you don't get to choose what you do. You do what the employer tells you to do. And, um... Uh, I guess I'm going to have to end up doing this shit myself. Even though I don't have the fucking time to do it, I need to be doing other things like planning my routes out. Um, finding, finding, yeah, I've got a lot, I've got a real, actual, real work to do that counts towards making money other than this fucking goddamn low-level fucking cleaning bullshit. I mean, yeah, it does go towards me getting this fucking Mamaki printer up on his legs and out of here for about seven grand. But I'd rather pay somebody else to do that so I can concentrate on building my routes. And um, finding somebody to get this fucking wheel well soldered. I might just have to fucking just you know, build a bracket above it and then like uh, find some sheet aluminum and build a box around it. And, uh, who knows, maybe I'll have to get some scrap aluminum and teach myself how to weld aluminum too. I mean, Jesus fuck, man. I, that's probably another 15, 20 hours that I don't have to do that. And I'm trying to get back on the road by Wednesday with both big freezers stocked and the little freezer in place. And here it is fucking Saturday afternoon. I waited all fucking day long while I was doing my fucking speeding, speeding ticket classes, which I got to get done or I won't have a driver's license to do all this business. I know. 
This cocksucker fucking takes all seven fucking hours to fucking get here. Fucking disrespectful as fuck. Oh, I'm sorry it took me all day. Well, hey, you know, you told somebody you'd be somewhere, you'd be there. I, I'm surprised they even let him start working. That that really showed a lot of weakness on my part by even letting him to start work. Anyway, he could just come out whenever he wants, do whatever he wants. No, dude, I hired you to do something. You get there whenever we were agreed to, or, or not at all. But anyways, yeah. I, um... Uh, workmanship I just polished these up and uh see there's a difference between a hundred dollar a two hundred dollar and a four hundred dollar pair of shoes are right there hundred dollar no decent no decent inserts and these uh these floor shines they got really good inserts the leather is a lot more consistent see how the leather is inconsistent there and uh, four hundred dollars, and this the, the leather is super consistent. Um, the shape is a, a lot nicer. Um, now, of course, these did not come with this um, shoe tree, but I thought it was, since uh, they were a nicer shoe, I'd take care of them. See, like, see the difference. This floor shine is it's got a nice, nice um. So this is de fairly decent, but uh, yeah, this see the the arch that how it's more rounded, and this is just almost straight down. It just conforms to the foot better, and it's a lot more comfortable. And these are um, Steve Madden. These are actually a pretty decent shoe. Super, super comfortable, and it's got that nice, nice um, rubber, rubber part there. But it's got the leather sole showing from the side. Yes, nice, nice walkable heel. One of the better pair of shoes I've ever had. I like these right here. I like my wing tips, but um, this is lower level wing tip. This is a um, a Johnson and Murphy. Same as these right here. These are also Johnson and Murphy, and it's a pure leather sole, which isn't a bad thing. Just slick as fuck, and um, you, it's really hard to keep these brogues. Now the problem with this is I went walking on a piece of dirty, rocky, muddy um, property looking to buy this place. Where's that another piece of property? And it was snowy, and I I, I don't I don't think I ruined these but it's going to take a lot of work to bring them back anyhow wow when people say people really don't work they ain't lying and the uh, thing is he I told him it's 12 to 14 $14 an hour good say I'm good with it all right cool this is what I need done and uh, when you get done with this come back inside so I think maybe he thought he was going to pussyfoot around and, and like take, you know, four hours to do 30 minutes of work, fucking work, you know. Um, I expect work. I expect every, every moment of the time that I'm paying you, um, just like any other employer, for you to be fucking working. Ain't no fucking lollygagging. Ain't no fucking hanging out. Um, the reason I'm paying you to be out there is because I don't want to be out there. I've got more important things to be doing with my time, like planning out my routes and cleaning up my house and uh, start training my dogs for the tiny dog circus which I'm vastly behind and uh, I got to get this bed set up in here and I'm trying to get my, my my whole living arrangement set up so I feel more like at home here with my TV facing the right way across from my couch and, and then um having a separate dressing area and and uh, a clear path over to the bathroom or clearer um, I need to make room right over there that's a whole other garage over there that I'm 
I want to be able to bring carts, cars in here and start working on them. I want to start flipping Volkswagen bugs. Well, I can't do that shit over there where it's got the... I've got the lights, or they, or there are lights on there for drying paint and um, all on that wall. And uh, this is actually um, was used for a paint booth. Well, by God, I need to be able to to, to work. Uh, I'll probably be here and there anyways to even more separate my living space from that. And, uh, and eventually, I'll be in my tiny house and. Uh, I've got another space I can use for an office. I just don't. It's not air conditionable. It's it's um. It's just thin metal walls in the, in one of the sheds, and then I, I like my AC. So this will be in my office and living space until I get my uh, tiny space fixed, and uh, I'm gonna put me a bathtub in here so I don't have to go all the way to the spa to work out, and I got me an 80 gallon compressor and. I can actually do almost everything I need to do. I just need a few more eyes and ends. I'll, I'll get a air ratchet, air wrench. You know, I've got a few assorted tools. I could probably use buy more and a toolbox. And you know. well, that's like probably two, three more thousand dollars. But um, I got enough there can start work. I could I could build a car if I needed to with probably like four or five hundred dollars more in in tools and a, a jack and some. I could build a rotisserie because I got welding skill now. So yeah, I got all this fucking work to do before I can start making other serious money. And um, but I gotta stay on the ice cream tip too. Gotta, I really gotta so that I gotta get my routes together. So this fucking trivial shit's actually keeping me from making money, which is keeping me from making the real money. But I, I don't feel like. Uh, responsible to even go out and fucking have a good time riding my bicycle. I'm stuck behind a, 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 a rock in a hard place, and I really fucking hate it. And my battery's about to die on my phone, so I, I gotta get off here. And uh, now mind you, I have been doing stuff uh, in between questions on my driving thing, so I've, I've been making some progress today. And uh, I hope by the end of the night tonight that I'm not. Man, I, I woke up at 7 o'clock, and I, I, I probably fell asleep a couple times a day, but I could only have, have five five hours rest. And, uh, so I've been I've been struggling, and uh, I'm trying to get my circadian rhythm back on, on track. But unfortunately, when I come back to Asheville, even if I finish up at 9.45, it takes a couple hours to get here, and then, like, I don't want to go to, I, I hate going home and go straight to bed. And then my dogs are like, you know, think I'm a fucking asshole to them because uh, I've been gone all day. And then they're like all playful hyper. And then like I got all playful high flow and I can't. Yeah. Next thing you know, it's two o'clock in the morning. But hey, I'm going off here. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty motivated today. And, and the other day I actually almost got up there and got, got on the drums and started playing some music. Um. Of course, this damn YouTube doesn't help either. But you know, at least I'm I'm, I'm watching things that are being helpful towards me. You know, I've been learning about ice makers and air conditioning. You uh, know, servicing those because I, I I'll, I'll need these skills for my food truck. You uh, know, maybe about a year and a half from now I'll have a. Uh, if things go as long as I as I think they will, from what directories I've seen, other people work. From having a food truck to having a, a, a um, real restaurant, 18 months is doable. I just really got to uh, concentrate on my organizational skills and staying organized and neat, and which has oh, always been a, uh, a hindrance to me when I, I, I have people in my life to distract me from doing what I need to do. And, um, well... Again, that's no longer a problem. I like alone. I do. I, I like it a lot. Um, the great thing about having employees is you can, you know, they they leave, and you still get to use them for a sounding board. And um, the only thing that's really hard is not to hire yes man. 
fucking, I find a lot of people really just are way too agreeable with everything I say to the point where they have no, no, um, they're corrupted easily. They, they have no, um, what is the word I'm looking for? No backbone, no, um, yeah. I'll, I'll get it here in a little bit. I'm a little bit distracted as I'm still on this. Um, I've got three more chapters and two more sections in this driving bullshit. And uh, I got to get this done. And then uh, I'd like to get my living area together. This is um, it's untenable. I got to get a dog fence. It's going to be $1,400 for uh, bathing facilities, which I would also. Um, And uh, about a thousand dollars for a dog fence and a dog door. You uh, know, another five thousand dollars just get moved, just get the fit, t tiny house finished into uh, a livable space. And uh, if I want to expand it out, it's probably going to be like eight thousand dollars. So I think I'd rather do that all at once. And, and, and that's eight thousand um, dollars. About sixty five hundred dollars get my truck back here. I I, I got to get money and I got to get back on the road with the ice cream truck as soon as possible. Only I feel fucking responsible and it fucking pains me to come back to a fucking filthy house. Uh, because of the actions of other people, I gotta fucking. That's why I tried to hire somebody today, yesterday. I tried to, you, hey, I don't, it's not a regular job, but you can go over here and, and make some straight good money. Let's just get up, to, you know, I got 34 hours of work here for you. You know, that's, that's, that's two or three weeks worth of, of, of work. And um, twelve dollars an hour. Well, you say you're hurting for money, and you're trying to get back on your feet. You and your wife. Well, uh, which his wife is sweet on me. It's probably why he was at the restaurant yesterday. Watch to see what kind of game I'm spitting. Hey, I ain't got to spit no game. Because <laughs> when he wasn't around, she was all up on my tip. And I ain't no housebreaker, but if she left him, and then decides you want to get with this. Yeah, she's all right. But hey, you know, fresh linen shirt, gold, fourteen thousand dollar watch, a little bit more gold, class style and distinction. And uh, man, this chick, she she makes moderate tips. She makes sixty, seventy dollars a day. Yeah, she's not a good server. Anyhow, yeah, I couldn't get with her because she, she's, um, not because she's married. Uh, she wouldn't be able to pull her weight. And she's already got a kid. Um, and plus the fact that she flirts with me, even if it's just for tips, tells me she's a dishonest woman. And I can't deal with that. I I, I got beyond it, beyond that for a long time ago. Peace. Love you. Gotta go. You know the rest.